What's up YouTube? Rachel here on Riley Writes TV and today is the time for March Favorites! Okay. First we're gonna go over the beauty favorites. Let's start with this and this. You don't have a beauty sponge? I have one now though. What? My two blending sponges. I have seen these on so many people's YouTube channels, but for some reason I just haven't bought it until this month, and I am in love with it. My favorite little squishy things. Next, I have two favorites for blush slash cheekbone area. Baked Bronzer from Palladio. BBR04 Illuminating Tan. And I noticed it looks really good on my skin if I want that extra shimmer. And then I have this blush from MAC in Warm Soul. Hmm. Another one of my favorites that I have to bring back, it's always been my favorite, but I had to bring back and show you all, is this Mario Badesco Skincare Drying Lotion. I usually get the glass version of this, but I actually had to get a plastic one because Janelle goes through all my stuff and I'm terrified of her dropping it and then getting cut so I got the plastic bottle doesn't make a difference whether it's plastic or glass it still does the job I love this stuff it is heaven when it comes to skincare whenever I have what an acne or an acne whenever I have a pimple growing and I know it's growing I will put this stuff on and then the next morning it is gone Yes, the Voluminous Miss Manga, and it is so good. I am super obsessed. By now, y'all know that I am super obsessed with eyelashes, anything with the eyes. If I can get away with not wearing falsies all the time and having a good mascara that looks like falsies, I will use it. First time I tried this, I wore it, and it felt so thick, and like there was like a piece of paper, and I was like... I didn't like the feeling at all, but once it dried up and I used it throughout the day, I realized, oh my gosh, look at my eyelashes, they look so good. Milani Easy Eyeliner for Eyes, and it is in 01 Precious Silver. So I have this on my eyeliner along with an out, outer eyeliner and this on my eyes at the moment. <laughs> part of life and I don't know how but I just want to work with entertainment someday or I don't know or entertain. Let's go over some of my favorite TV shows this month that are now out of season which makes me really sad. The very first one I know you all know about this one and it's Empire. How beautiful give the world a show go up down up down up down up down up down up down <laughs> Cookie is my favorite character. You cannot wait for them to come back. Ooh, another show is The Fosters. Let me just say, gunshots, crashes, ah! I don't want to say anymore because I don't want to spoil, spoil it for my fellow Fosters fans, but this season has been really crazy. Animes, and then Natsu no Tazai, and that is also known as The Seven Deadly Sins, and I've been staying up to date with that. But I've also been re-watching animes such as Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann and... Oh, there's one more. It's not coming to me. I've also been keeping up with Death Parade. Movies I watched this past month and have been my favorite has been the Cinderella movie, and I watched that with my sister, which was really fun. And then the Insurgent premiere was so good. Uh, I read the books when they first came out and I haven't read it since then so I kind of knew what I was going into and like the gist of the story but then it was a good reminder to watch the movie again I was like oh yeah that happened now I need to go reread Allegiance when I was making my list for March I realized how much more food I have than beauty products. The first one is this, which is the Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails Gummy. I have this obsession right now with long hair. One of my old pictures of me with mermaid hair when it was slightly red and really long. It was like long down my back and I was just like, I want long hair for summer. So I got this and I want to do something about it because I know biotin is really good for your hair. It also has 
antioxidants it has vitamin C and vitamin E so this is all good for hair growth my nails are also still recovering from fake acrylic nails from November trying to rejuvenate all the stuff on my body and everything <sighs> I'm only allowed to eat two a day I want to eat more my favorite hurricane popcorn if you're from Hawaii born there been there traveled there you know what this is to some people I know that this actually sounds disgusting seaweed and popcorn and well I don't know if most of you know what furikake is but it's basically mochi crunchy mochi actually that sounds gross too this is so good you just have to try it it's really good my grandma bought two big boxes of this and I'm like oh. <laughs> yeah going to the gym another one of my favorites is the sweet tea pure leaf I already love tea I don't know why I haven't heard about this until now when I went shopping for shoes at this cute little Asian boutique spot I was obsessed and bought a good amount of shoes pairs of shoes and because I had a big sale from her she comes out with this pure leaf tea not this one that's kind of gross because that would have been like a long time ago and she's like oh here do you, are you thirsty you can have it because she ran out of water and I was like oh, okay I'll try it and I tried it and I love it and it's the best every time I go to Target I get this now I'm sorry brisk I love you it's even better than brisk it's even better than Harrison Last but not least is this Korean ramen, but technically it's not ramen, it's called lamyan. I usually eat this right when I get home. I eat this so much. Hashtag broke college life because this gets the job done, especially when you're taking midterms and stuff like that. Um, all you do is add water and then it's the spicy soup and it's really good. When I do have time, I like to make scrambled egg and put it in here and it's so good. If you don't like spicy stuff, I don't recommend it. Don't eat it. You're gonna hate me for it, for recommending it to you. So now is the time for everything that's just etc. slash random. <laughs> First, I have these pins in my hair right now. I just need something that's quick to put up and because it's been hot lately so I would just use it like that and yeah so I have a bunch of these and I'm obsessed with them so anything that's a clamp has been my favorite these are blank notes blank cards and they have this cute little uh, uh, air balloons air sky air balloons on the cover and there's these cute little clouds on my prescription glasses that I finally finally got this one this is what they look like these are prescription glasses I have 2020 vision but the reason why I had to use them is because my eye doctor finds it important that I keep my eyes healthy which I agree with him and he prescribed these to me mainly because I read too much I'm always on the computer and everything so the bottom half of my eyes these are progressive glasses the bottom half is like a magnifying slash um, adjustable uh, uh, lens and then it transitions to farsightedness so I can use this while I'm driving especially it actually helps me at night um, not that I have to use it, but it helps because everything is much clearer and crisper and I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> yes, that is it for my March favorites. I actually had a lot more than I thought I would. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more coming soon. I'm graduating in May, <laughs> which means I will have more time to make videos. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, go girl. Does anyone actually smile when they're doing smiley face emojis? Or am I the only one who does that? So good.